Hi guys, it's Chef Ballard here. I'm here with the Transmoto crew and uh, to be honest, I can't believe I'm here talking about this Yamaha and I've never really had that much uh, interest in the last few years with, in Yamaha and especially 450s, you know. I, uh, I've been riding a 350 KDM for a while and I like that. I've tried all sorts of other bikes too. Pretty much most of them out there, you know, and, uh, and I've been pretty happy the KDM is great. But anyway, uh, I've got to come straight out and say I love this bike and uh, it's changed a few things in my way of thinking. I have been riding some other 450s not too long ago and uh, just even though they don't weigh that much, it, they feel so much heavier and this bike uh, feels a bit different in that area so I uh, really like that. But uh, the Transmoto guys also said, you know, give a brief history because it's been a while ago that I uh, was involved in Yamaha so it was from 99 and to 2012 and we ran a race team and won uh, 26 national championships so pretty heavily involved and then also involved as well overseas and had a bit to do with uh, the development of the WRs in the early days and uh, Peter Payne from Yamaha, a good mate. Um, but uh, yeah anyway it was it's surely by accident really so um, Andy Wigan came up and we got some good riding areas up here. It's pretty tight technical stuff we ride and enjoy up here. So another reason why I'm not really into a 450 but anyway he bought two bikes and uh, anyway bought this one and one thing led to another and uh, had a ride on it and I was like re really surprised. It's, uh, it doesn't feel as heavy um, as the others. It's, I think maybe it's got a bit to do with the fuel under the seat or something, I'm not really sure but Straight off the bat, I was uh, I was really impressed with it, and um, the suspension was good, really good, and um, engine was pretty easy. It's got a map switch that detunes it, mostly down the bottom end, and that worked really well for me. And uh, even though we ride really technical and tight, I was feeling really good on it, and uh, actually going quicker than uh, my current bike. So that that changed my whole way of thinking. So anyway, I'll just go through a couple of. Uh, things that I've done. I've, ha I've had it for about uh, three and a half weeks now I think and done quite a bit of riding on it. Um, so I realised at first I thought the handlebars were a bit high or the foot pegs were a bit high but in the end I realised it was the seat was a bit low and I understand as well that um, there's plenty of people who want to feel close to the ground but I felt a bit cramped in that area so I've actually about 15 or 20 mil built up underneath the foam um, just to try it. So. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that's uh, worked for me. I really uh, love the transition that made. And um, yeah, you know, the f uh, let me think, what else have I changed? Uh, I haven't changed any gearing or anything. I haven't really got anything there to, to change that. It's quite tall geared. It's got amazing smooth power, so that helps a lot. But I still think I possibly will change one to two teeth, maybe. Just anyway, try it. Uh, the clutch, we, we run a pivot assist that's 40% lighter and even though the clutch was light, it it's, might as well be even lighter and, and I'm liking that. The rear brake was a bit touchy and I still feel that I've got used to something I'm a little bit scared of in some ways. It's for locking it up too easy so I'd, I'd go to a solid disc on the back which makes it a little less aggressive. Um, the only other little things that's a bit of annoyance is the fan that comes on when we stop and have a chat so to, so to speak but I've learnt that if you just hold the red button on you can get rid of it so uh, alternatively I would put in uh, maybe liquid intelligence or something like that. It's not a water based product and um, most of the water based ones you know boil at the max around about 120 and uh, liquid intelligence balls at 190, it's different than the other stuff. So it allows you to, um, you know, remove fans or not add fans in some cases. Um, I've run it in all my bikes and it, and it works pretty well. And we ride in really technical type stuff a lot. So, you, you know, you do get the heat up quite a bit on them. So, but yeah, very few changes I've, I've done to it. I've played around with the standard suspension and gone back and forward and I'm, to be honest I'm really really close back to stock settings and I think it's uh, it's, it's great to be honest. Um, the, uh, there's, some, there's some other weird things that I've uh, come across. It's got a lot of power um, and, and even with the power switch I found it was a bit surgy with the, with the power switch, um, the detune switch or whatever you want to call it. So I remembered a guy in New Zealand who uh, was a top motocrosser and he restricted one side of the air intake 
and made the bike a lot smoother. So I've tried that and it's really working for me. So it's a bit, bit funky, but basically blocked with a rag with whatever you can. It's got two scoops going out the front here. So block just one side and, it, and I leave it in the power mode and it uh, works, works incredibly well. So yeah, I've put quite a few hours on it. Um, as I said, I'm really happy with the general handling and the suspension. Um, um, in, in a nutshell, um, so far I'm absolutely loving it to the point where I'm talking to uh, the guys when they're finished with it to see if I can buy it. Uh, so uh, yeah, in a general sense, it's, uh, it's, it's a beautiful bike and uh, I'm surprised by it, to be honest. And, uh, and I was joking with some guys before saying, Josh Green's not as good a rider as I thought. I think, you know, I'm thinking this bike's making it a bit easy for him, but it's a beauty. So, yeah, good on them. They've done a good job. They've come close to the YZ and just changed things that uh, make a difference for off-road. Obviously, it's it's very smooth. Oh, that's the other thing that I really noticed. It has very little engine braking, and that's one thing that I really love about it. So it, it flows into corners well, and, um, yeah, it's pretty... for. For a 450 and with as much power and everything, it's, it's pretty easy to ride and uh, yeah, I'm loving it.